let me show you how you can easily create your own color correction action using photoshop let's get started if you are touching an image and you feel the color of the skin and the body are not matching so i use my color correction action to match the body so you can see the before and the after the before and the after you can see they are matched right now so let me just delete this and show you how you can create your own color correction actions so to create your action we're going to be using this image right here and to create your action just come to your action right here if you can find your action right here come to your windows and click on action and you're going to see your action right here click on this hamburger icon click on this button mode once you are here the first you are going to do you have to create a set if you already have a set just click on this place this folder icon right here click on it and it's going to show you set for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to leave it as set i'll click on ok after you create your set just click on this plus icon right here and it's going to show you to name your action so i'm going to name this action color and you can select any color you want the action to look like so i'm going to use yellow for this action and you can set a shortcut key so i'm going to click on let's say f3 and press shift and click on start record now if you can do that it's going to save us an action to create the color correction just come to your adjustment layer click on gradient map and just invert this layer right here this layer mask invert it so once you invert the layer mask it's going to hide that effect right now click on your gradient once your gradient is selected not the layer mask once your gradient is selected you're going to see properties click on it in the properties to open the menu so just click on the middle just click one time on the middle like this and it's going to open this new slider for you so just change the location to 50 and right now we have our shadows we have our mittens and we have our highlights so this part right here is our shadows so just want to select any colors on this image that are shadows to fit this shadow part right here so click on color you just use your eyedropper tool and just select any part of the image you want to be a shadows so i want this part right here to be the shadows i'm going to click on it once and click on ok and for the mittens i'm going to click on this mittens right here click on color i want this place right here to be the mittens i'm going to click on it once like this and for the highlights i'm going to click on this highlight slider and just click on the forehead right here and this place is going to be our highlight and i'll click on ok now that we have the colors of our shadows our mittens and highlights after that what i'm going to do next i'll click on this my gradient map tool pick my normal brush to make sure my focal color is set to white and just come to my action again and just stop this recording so once i click on stop it's going to stop and click on this hamburger icon again click on button mode and just close it and right now you can see we have our color right here and if i just brush on this image like this you can see it's going to pick the colors which we made so it's just going to pick the colors like that so you can see it's working and to use this action let me just delete it and if you want to use this action you just click on the action right here and if you want to use this color correction action for another image that's not this image all you have to do let's see right here as an example just play the action if you paint right now it's going to take the colors of this image and paint it on this image and we don't want that and to fix that with your gradient selected not the layer mask make sure your gradient is selected with your gradient selected come to properties click on the gradient again just click on the shadows and sample a color from the shadows for this new image and for the middles again sample a color from this new image right for the highlight sample a color from this new image for the highlight and click on ok right now you can see the colors has changed and so once you paint it's going to paint the color of this new image so that's how you can easily create your own color correction action from scratch and if you want to learn how to match the colors of your skin or how to create the colors of your skin make sure to click on this video showing right here i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative